Now, traditionally, there have been questions in binomial as well as multinomial where we need to find sum of all the coefficients. So, when I see any binomial or any multinomial term, so I can express it as spectral length a1, a2, ar, x1 to the power a1, x to the power a2, xr to the power ar, where sum of all these terms, it should be n and each of the numbers should be either 0 or a positive integer. Now, in this case, I need to find sum of all the coefficients. So, that is, I just need to find the sum of all the coefficients leaving behind all the variable values. So, if I have to find sum of all the coefficients either in binomial or any general multinomial, all I need to do is, I will just need to put the value of all the variables as 1. So, if I will put the value of all the variables as 1, then all I am left with is sum of coefficients. So, in any question, if you have to find sum of all the coefficients, simply put the values of variables as 1. Now, say for example, now here the question is, if the sum of the coefficients in x plus y to the power n is 4096, then I'll need to find its greatest coefficient. So I have sum of all the coefficients, which is 4096, and I'll need to find its greatest coefficient. Now we know that in any multinomial or any binomial, if I have to find the sum of all the coefficients, all I need to do is, I'll just need to put all the variables as 1. So in this case, what I'll do is, I'll simply put x as 1. And I'll also put y as 1. So if I'll put x and y as 1, then sum of all the coefficients, so it'll be simply 2 to the power n, and that will be equals to 4096. Now, 4096 is 2 to the power 12. So in this case, the value of n is 12. So it is the binomial expansion of x plus y to the power 12. Now, in this expansion, I need to find its greatest coefficient. Now we know that the coefficient of middle term is greatest. Now because it's an even number, so here the value of r will be 12 by 2, so there'll be 6. So the greatest binomial coefficient in this case will simply be 12c6. Now in this question it says, if the sum of the coefficients in the expansion of alpha square x square minus 2 alpha x plus 1 to the power 51 vanishes, then find alpha. So basically we need to find the value of alpha and it says that sum of all the coefficients in the expansion vanishes. That is, the sum of all the coefficients is simply 0. Now, in this case, the only variable that I have here is x. So, simply, in order to find sum of the coefficient, I'll need to put x as 1. So, if I'll put x as 1, I'll get sum of all the coefficients. So, sum of all the coefficients is given by, so, now if I'll put x as 1, I'll get alpha square minus 2 alpha plus 1 to the power 51 and this sum is equal to 0. So, I'll simply write alpha minus 1 to the power 102 equals to 0, then in that case, the value of alpha will simply be 1. Now for a plus b plus c plus d to the power 8, we need to find sum of all the coefficients. Now, sum of all the coefficient is very simple. I'll have to take each variable which is a, b, c, d and I have to put it equals to 1. So if I'll put it equals to 1, then sum of all the coefficients will simply be 4 to the power 8. So that's a very simple question, right? Now my next question is, find the sum of all the coefficients that doesn't contain c. So I need to find sum of all the coefficients that doesn't have c. So previously we need to find all the coefficients, uh, sum of all the coefficients and that was simply 4 to the power 8. Now in this case, I need to have all those terms that doesn't contain c. So what I'll do is, so for all the terms that doesn't have c, I'll simply put c equals 0 because that will make all the terms containing c as 0. Now, I need to find sum of all the coefficients. So, in that case, I'll simply put a as 1, b as 1, and then d as 1. So, in that case, sum of all the coefficients that doesn't contain c will simply be, so I'll put c 0, a, b, c, a, b, and d as 1. So, in this case, answer will simply be 3 to the power 8. Now, I'll come to the third question, which is, I need to find sum of all the terms sum of all the coefficients that contains b but doesn't contain c. Now, how do I do that? So, I need to find all those terms that doesn't contain c. So, that's simple. So, for that, I'll simply put c equals to 0. So, if I put c equals to 0, I'll get all those terms that doesn't have c. But then I have to make sure that term should also have b. Now, how do we do that? So what I'll do is, I'll take all the terms or I'll take sum of all the coefficients that doesn't contain c, that is total sum, 
and from this total sum i'll subtract all those terms in which it doesn't have c and it also doesn't have b so in this case so for the first case i'll put c as 0 and i'll put a b and d as 1 so which will give me sum of all the coefficients that doesn't contain c so it may have b it may not have b and from this i'll remove all the coefficient or sum of all the coefficient that doesn't have b and c both so in this case i'll put a and d as 1 and i'll put c as 0 and d as 0 so here will be 3 to the power 8 and minus 2 to the power 8 so answer to this question will be 3 to the power 8 minus 2 to the power 8